Let's talk about that other cybersecurity thing. What do I mean? Well, for most of us, the phrase cybersecurity probably conjures images of defending your devices and data against hacking attacks. That'll involve understanding what attack tools the bad guys are using, how those tools can harm your resources, and how you can protect yourself. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that definition, and learning at least some of those skills is desperately important for anyone who's working with internet-facing applications and resources. And in fact, there are many, many terrific books, articles, and courses focused on teaching just those skills. I know that because I've created some of them. But that's not the whole story. Sure, developers and admins should understand how to defend against attack vectors like backdoors, buffer overflows, rootkits, port scanning, DDoS, man-in-the-middle, cross-site scripting, and SQL injection. But that's not enough. You also have to take a few steps back and look at the big picture. Is your organization as a whole ready to face the big, nasty digital world out there? What I mean by that is asking yourself how well you understand the threats that you face and their actual significance. It's one thing to know how to incorporate effective encryption into your resource stack. But how much do you know about your stack? Have you thought about exactly what needs protecting and how you would go about recovering from a catastrophic loss? In other words, do you have a solid big picture plan for defending your assets and then recovering them if they're lost? Or in other words, if you showed up for work one morning and your office had been burned to the ground or your cloud-based data completely lost, could you rebuild from scratch? So besides having individual cybersecurity skills, you'll also need a set of cybersecurity protocols. Creating those protocols is the subject of my Introduction to Cybersecurity course. But here are some of the key elements you'll need. Regular risk audits and threat assessments focusing on your industry and your network exposure. Regular asset enumerations, so you'll know what you've deployed and what risk exposure that presents. Regular vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. A complete data backup and data lifecycle management system. And a detailed and tested recovery playbook. That'll take some work, of course. But the alternative is pretty scary.